Oh man. Having great wrath because he knoweth that he have but a short time. So this devil knows he has a short time. Right? A very, 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 very short time. Okay? So what's he going to do? Implement what? That chip. Go to Psalms. Every idle word I shall give an account for. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? So now let's go to Psalms 30. Let's go to Psalms 38 and 12. The wicked plotteth against the just and gnasheth upon him with his teeth. Right? So what do you think the wicked are doing? Yes, they're plotting, they're scheming. Right? Upon the just, the hopeful elect. They're not concerned with everybody else because they're just going to fall in line. Right? And gnasheth upon him with his teeth. Right? The Lord shall, shall, shall laugh at him. For he seeth that his day is coming. So the Lord's going to laugh at this man. And all those that what side with his system. The wicked have drawn out the sword. So what's that sword? That led them legislations. Right? And have bent their bow to cast down the poor and the needy. And to slay such as be of what an upright conversation. Okay? Their sword shall enter into their own heart and their bowels shall be broken. So what are they seeking to do? Cast down the needy and the poor. And those that are what, of an upright conversation. And those that are of an upright conversation are the hopeful elect. Because our conversation is not of the world. Right? It says their sword shall enter into their own heart and their bowels shall be what? Broken. Everything they imagine is going to what? Turn upon them. A little that a righteous man have is better than the riches of many wicked right so you may not have a lot of understanding of all the prophecies but the little that you have is better than what the many riches of what many wicked of the elites for the arms of the wicked shall be broken okay their power okay but the lord Jehovah shall uphold if the righteous the lord Jehovah shall know if the days of the upright and their inheritance shall be forever Right, not sometimes it's going to be forever. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time because they made what you have a shy they trust, and in the days of famine, they shall be what satisfied. Right, but the wicked, okay, but the wicked shall perish. Right, including what our people on this side and Esau as well. And the enemies of the Lord shall be as fat of lambs, they can sh they shall consume into smoke, they shall consume. Oh wait, let's quickly go to Job. Right, we're just going to stick with one thing. I did say we're going to mention, we'll just stick with one thing for now. Right. Where was it, where was it? Let's go to Job 21. And... a lot of our own people they're willing to fight two for now to defend this system so they they are enemies of Yahweh Shai if, if they're trying to fight two for now to uphold this system they're enemies of Yahweh Shai point blank period right let's go to Job bear me just a minute let's go to Job 18 and go straight to verse 5 yeah the light of the wicked shall be put out Okay, it's indicative of this man's system, right? And what keeps this man going? His system, his money, okay? His power and the spark of his fire shall not shine. The light shall be dark in his tabernacle and his candle shall be put out with him. The steps of his strength shall be straightened, right? And why are the steps of, why are the steps of his strength going to be straightened? Because <laughs> he's going to be in straits. All these other nations are going to rise up against him. Right? The steps of his strength shall be straightened and his own counsel shall cast him down. Right? All these counsels he's having, it's going to cast him down. It's going to come to naught. Right? For he is cast into a net by his own feet. Right? So that net he laid, 
he's gonna fall right in it. Remember this Yahweh I'm sure is movie. Right? He walketh upon a snare, a trap, the jinn shall take him by the hill. And the rubber shall prevail against him these other nations. The snare is laid for him in the ground and a trap for him in the way. Terrors shall make him afraid on every, every side. And he shall drive him to his feet. Right? So it says terrors were going to make him afraid on every single side. And shall drive him to his feet. These other nations, they're going to rise up against what? America. And that's where you get the World War Three. Okay? His strength shall be hunger bitten and destruction shall be ready at his sight he shall devour the strength of his skin right and even the firstborn of death shall devour his strength the firstborn of death is Yahweh Shai right so even when this war is going on who do, you, who do you think else is going to um pour fire and them laser beams upon this man's kingdom Yahweh Shai right and destruction shall be ready at his sight it shall devour the strength of his of his skin even the firstborn of death shall devour his strength. So Yahweh is going to take this man down as well. Okay, his confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle, his dwelling place. Right? And it shall bring him to the king of Teresh, which is Yahweh Shai. It shall dwell in his tabernacle because it is none of his. Everything he got was of what? Lies and deception. Right? Brimstone shall be scattered upon his habitation. His root shall be dried up beneath and above shall his branch be cut off. So when his roots, when the roots dried up from beneath, there's no resuscitation. It doesn't grow again. So this kingdom, once it's done, it's not going to revive. And that's going to be a beautiful thing. Because that's what the true prophets want. They're not just saying it. That's what they want. Right? Because you could have these prophecies, but not have Yahabashai, but not have the faith in Yahabashai. So that means you don't really believe the prophecies. If you don't have the faith in Yahweh Shai, that doesn't that means you don't believe in the prophecies. Point blank period. Right? His, his remembrance shall perish from the earth, and he shall have no name in the street. So this man's he's gonna be done away with. He's not gonna have a name in the street. Right? He shall be driven from the light into darkness and chased out of the world. He shall neither have son nor nephew among his people. Nor any remaining in his dwellings. They that come after him shall be astonished at his day. As that they went before were affrighted. Surely. Surely. Such are the dwellings of the wicked. And this is the place of him that knoweth not the most high. Right? So he's going to be done away with. Okay. And let's go to Psalms 36 and... Start at 36, the transgression of the wicked saith, within my heart, there is no fear of the most high before it before his eyes. So we say he doesn't fear the most high. That's why he wants people chipped. Because if you look, if you did, you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do that. So he said he doesn't have the fear of Yahweh Oshai. He wasn't made to have that fear. He he was created to be what? The vessel of what? Wrath. Right? But there is no fear before his eyes, for he flattereth himself and his own eyes until his iniquity be found to be hateful. The words of his mouth are iniquity and deceit. So he's a deceitful man. Don't trust anything he says. Everything is deceit. He have left off to be wise and to do good. Right? He deviseth mischief upon his bed. He setteth himself in a way that is not good. He abreth not evil. So his whole thing is to try and entangle you in his system. That's his whole MO. Right? To entangle you. To get you caught up. Right? Verse 37. Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. So scripture says, don't fret. Obviously, sometimes you may get agitated, but don't fret. Because Yahweh has got this. Right? The wicked have been, what, Job 9.24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, but only for a short time. Fret not thyself because of evil doers. Neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. Right? Don't be envious. Why would you be envious against the workers of iniquity? They're working iniquity. They're working sin. That's because you're a worker. You want to be a worker of iniquity. So don't be envious at the workers of iniquity. Because they're going to be brought down. Right? 
for they shall soon be set of spirit, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and river as the green herb. Right? Trust in the Lord Jehovah and do good. Okay, continue to have faith, continue to be brotherly. Okay. Sincere, sincerely, sincerely, not that fake love. So shall I dwell in the land, verily thou shalt be fed. And we're gonna dwell in our land. Okay, the land of Canaan. Okay, Jerusalem. The light that's of also in the Lord Jehovah I was shy, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. That's exactly what he's gonna do. He's gonna give the elect what the desires of their heart. Okay. Commit thy way unto the Lord Jehovah shall trust also in him. That's that faith, and he shall bring it to pass. Where the expectation of the ending of this world and what the beginning of Yahweh shines. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord Yahweh Yabashai. Right? And wait patiently for him. Right? That's what we got to do. Rest in the Lord. Rest in this truth. Not in the world. And wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way. Yes, Esau's prospering. Because it needs to be that way so we can be brought down. Okay? Because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Right? And that's what he's doing. Bringing what? Yes, wicked devices to pass. And that word for devices is what? I believe is mashama. Plan, evil scheme. And that evil scheme is what? Getting everybody what? On a human global database. That's his scheme. That's his plan. Right? Cease from anger, forsake wrath, threaten on thyself in any wise to do evil. Right? Because that's how Esau can what entangle you up. Right? See, I see their violence. See, see, see them them Hebrews, them so-called black Hebrew, which were not black Hebrew Israelites. Well, Israelites, right? Cease from anger, forsake wrath, because that's what Esau wants to do, get you entangled up. Don't think he doesn't send out agents. He does that. Don't think he doesn't send people around your area. Agents, all types of people hire them to do silly stuff, reprobate stuff, to say stuff, okay, to get a reaction. Fret not thyself any wise to do evil, right? For evildoers shall be cut off. That's exactly what's going to happen. Evildoers are going to be what? Cut off, right? But those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth for yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. They're going to be done away with. Okay, yeah, thou shalt diligently consider his place, right? And it shall not be, but the meek shall inherit the earth and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace, which is Yahweh Shai, right? The wicked plot if it gets adjust. There was it, I already went to, hold on, I already went to that, yeah. Okay. So again, what do we need to do? Just trust in Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, and everything else is going to fall into line. Everything else, right? The wicked of our people, they're going to be wicked. Right? To their own demise. With this lesson, I hope this was edifying. And until the next time, shadow arms the hopeful elect.